Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're talking about the Steinheiser Micro Telescopic Pocket Combo Rod and Reel. It goes from 18 inches to 30 inches, and as you'll see, there are no eye loops. Super light, super tough, super compact, like my wife. <laughs> Who's this made by? Steinhauser. Tell them that. This is made by Steinhauser. Not a brand that I've actually encountered before. This is the M411 reel that it comes with. Steinhauser M411 reel. Uh, this, again, I, I forget what the extension is. It's 20 something feet. No, nope, it's 20 something inches. I don't know my feet from inches. This is 18 inches when you retract it, but you got to read it. And then it goes to 30 inches. That looks more like 30 inches, not 18. Yeah, it's more like 18. Yeah, that's definitely 18. There's a hook on the side for uh, no thumb catches. Otherwise, you'll think it's a hornet chasing you across the yard. And then inside here, and turn it over, you got ammunition for your paintball gun. They give you a few of these. When I say a few, they give you three. These are little metal weights. They do nothing but other than be paperweights. Probably a little too light for paperweights. Anyway, so you run your little thread through there, your line through there. And then we're going to drop it down the little uh, hole, and then it'll come out the end. Now, it doesn't actually come out the end. We have to force it. We tried with mine to magnetically uh, coax it along, and that didn't seem to work. So I had to really flick the rod to get the, the, the little piece of metal to come out. So we only need one for this instance, so I'm going to put the other two back so we don't use them. Put this little cat back on. It's funny that it looks like a paintball gun and it's also got paint, paint splatters. I presume they did that intentionally. Okay, so let's get some thread out here. Right. Ready for this part? We just gotta put it through a little hole. Ooh, like so. You don't have to tie this too tight. I, j I would recommend at least doing two, uh, two knots, two simple knots. Nothing, nothing too crazy because you're going to want to untie this or cut it off later. But even if you cut it off, you're still going to have to get the knot off there because you don't want that just hanging on. Okay, there's one knot. It's invisible, I can't see it. Ah, two. Okay. So go ahead and lock your rod down about that kind of length. Because otherwise, it will just go. It will just go right out. And you're just going to stick it in there. Stick it in the hole. And you got to kind of get it started. Okay. That was so fast, you didn't even see it happen. It's because it didn't. Alright, so now it's in there. It's in the hole, I promise. Now you can do this all day long and it's not going to come out. So what you got to do is kind of fake cast. One, two, three, ah, yeah, there we go. I didn't make it long enough, but there it is. So that kept us from poking an eye out. So now that we have that, we'll just reel that up. We'll go ahead and untie this. That piece is done. So don't don't forget about it. Go ahead and just put it away while you're at it. At this point, you're just going to finish off like you would uh, normally do your line. We're going to put 
clip on ours because it just makes more sense. It just makes more sense to use clips instead of actually mounting your bait. Uh, and our bait today, I'm going to give this to my mom. Now, he had two eyes when I started out, but I was playing around, poked him in the eye, so now he's one eye willy. He only got one eye. But this will be my mom's first uh, bait on this rod. And then, uh, then she could just unclip it and put on whatever she wants. Alright, so we're ready to put on the last piece. Now, I didn't do any kind of fisherman knot, really. I mean, it really, really, really wasn't. Uh, but my hands just don't work like they used to So I did the best I could and uh, We're just going to go ahead and stick this on here. Like I said uh, this This little link really makes things a lot easier just switching out the bait because I mean If you could just carry around just three or four on a hat or something and then you Determine that okay in this lake, you know, I may be able to go for something a little bit bigger You just unconnect and just move on so great invention. All right uh, with that said, you want to go ahead and reduce your pull as far as you can. And then we'll make sure we're not getting tangled up here. Ironically, it's a tangle free system. But there are still some. It's not idiot proof, okay? It is tangle proof, but it's not idiot proof. So we'll go ahead and just. And that's one of the things that you'll that you'll encounter is that it will still wrap around the pole, but it's not very often. Tighten down your drag. that's it it's ready to go it's ready to cast I mean from this point on um, all you got to do is just remember to go ahead and release your release your lure uh, cause <laughs> I was an idiot so the first time taking this out my mind is thinking okay I have to extend this I have to extend this because it's pocket so I went to go extend it. I'm like ar, 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 and wouldn't do anything <laughs> it just popped right off I was like crap so while I was standing there I had to do it again had to had to Run it through. So just remember to do that. Um, other than that, this thing is ready to go. You just throw it in the back seat or whatever, and you're ready to fish wherever you're at. So, thanks for watching this. Go ahead and like and comment. Hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get my dad's channel up. So, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, there he is. The cameraman. All right. That's it. Thanks, guys. All right. So, I went ahead and read over the instructions in this uh gigantic pamphlet and uh, I just wanted to go over a few tidbits for you so that you know we get this clear uh, it is TSA approved you can only use it in trucks or your TP you can use it as a walking stick and never in a canoe uh, and then the back uh, it describes how to use the threaded weight and then once you've done it in English you can do it in French uh, and it does pose a choking hazard and there are some chemi chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects so something to keep in mind you might want to keep this out of your mouth that is all